Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Play. Today we are making a fantastic pasta that all of you guys will love and actually love it. And it's the spaghetti alla carbonara, the real deal, guys. We're here at Cafe Harvest in the Bonnie Rig Garden Center. Look how beautiful this place is. And we are making this delicious uh, spaghetti alla carbonara. Now, spaghetti alla carbonara only has a few ingredients, but this is what counts. Please, if you're watching this video, and you like the spaghetti carbonara with bacon and, and, and cream, then guys, you'll be, making, you'll be making it up wrong for a long time. This is the real carbonara, okay? This has been made for a long time, and that's how my family make it, and that's how I like it, and that's how the old generation Romans like it. So we need five eggs, so basically one egg every 100 grams of pasta. Then we need guanciale, which is the big chick, then spaghetti de cecco, the best brand in the world, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. So now guys, the most important ingredient for the carbonara is the guanciale, which is the beef chick. You have to use this, but it is very difficult to find it somewhere in the world. I know it's been difficult for me in Sydney, but thanks to Gulli Food, uh, they actually provided this to me. And they also provided me this, the pancetta, just in case. Don't use bacon, but use flat pancetta. The importance of the guanciale, it's got the fat, here, which is very, very soft, and that gives nice flavor. And then it's got the fat on top, which is harder, which is like the pancetta, and that's the salty part that makes it more crunchy when you put it in your mouth. But this is basically the flavor. That's what it gives you the flavor, together with the meat. The other important ingredient for this recipe is actually the pecorino romano. You have to use pecorino, because with parmesan, it's not the same thing. Now, let's be generous with um, extra virgin olive oil. About, I would say about four tablespoons. Now, I would say for about 500 grams of pasta, you want to cut maybe 200 grams of guanciale. So now we get each one and we just cut a piece like that. Guys, when you cook pasta, always cook pasta in a large pot. I'm using 500 grams because, because the leftover, you can have it for lunch the day after, you know? It's not a waste, so don't, don't just cook 100 grams. Um, but make sure you put the rock salt or the sea salt when uh, the actually water boils, not before that. And don't put any oil, because the oil, it doesn't help. You don't have to put oil in the boiling water. Just use a big, large pot. Now, this pasta needs to be cooked for 10 minutes al dente. I actually want to make this al dente, and we cook it for exact, exactly 10 minutes from when the water boils. Now, carbonara is made in many different ways. Uh, for example, my dad would actually make it with seafood, yeah? Or some people just use the yolk. Or, well, the original, actually, recipe is to use the whole egg. But then, guys, you know, it's totally up to you. There are people making carbonara in many, many different ways. Even in Rome, which is where it is originally from, people make carbonara in many, many ways. I can tell you for sure, guys, that this is going to taste delicious. Now we put a little bit of pepper. Not a little bit, well, a lot. Then we need to add a little bit of pecorino romano. This is very important that you put it there first to give it a nice flavor to the egg. Now mix it well. So now we're gonna cook the uh, pig chick on a medium heat, very slowly, no salt, because it's already very salty. And now you wanna cook this until it becomes nice and golden, a little bit crispy. Guys, the smell here is just divine. I just wanna be here next to this all the time. Oh, this beautiful pig. You know, my family, we actually have the pig and we make the prosciutto, we make the guanciale, we all make it at home. Okay, guys, the pasta is ready. Before we put it in, just to make sure you try one, just to make sure that it tastes good. Mmm, nice, crunchy and soft, thanks to the, to the fat. Now, let's put the pasta in. If it gets a little bit of water, that's okay. So now you stir it, so you cook it, you stir it together with so what you want to do, you put it in, And then what you do, you start stirring it so that the, the tomato, sorry, the egg goes at the bottom. You do want to have just, just a little bit of scramble, just a little bit. 
you do this, see now the bottom, that's what you get at the bottom, you just want a little bit of that, just to give the extra flavor, it will give the extra kick. See that, see that, see that? And now we can serve it. This has to be cooked and eaten straight away. Now let's serve this in the place. Look, look how nice it is creamy and a little bit scrubbly. There's no way you use parmesan, you put a little bit of pecorino, pepper, and the carbonara is now ready to enjoy. Guys, are you ready to eat this carbonara? And definitely, please tell definitely. me, tell me what you really think about it. Nice and creamy. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. I'll dance it with ginger. Mm. The pig chick. That's what makes a difference. When you have a bit of that, the flavor is unbelievable. Mm, mm, mm. So thank you very much, guys, for watching Vincenzo's plate. And we'll see you in the next um, episode. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very Let's, much. Let's uh, say hello to everyone. E ora, ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate. Buy from Bonnery Garden Center and Cafe Harvest. Yeah. What about me? Oh, sorry. Well, he's the owner of the... Oh. I bring him my fork. What about this? Are you happy to eat here? Oh, bravo. Is this what That's, I want? Is it good? Tell me, tell me. Oh, let me, let me try it. Let me give it a please, go. Okay. Please, please. Mm. Mm. Molto bene. Fantastic. Yeah, bravo. Thank bravo. you. Bravo. Thank you, John. Thank you, thank you. Can I take it to my office? <laughs> of course, please. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Se vediamo. Thank you. <laughs>